Hi and welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video for the fourth episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer called Teacher's Pet. Uh, last time we met Amy and her psycho mother. Uh, Amy was trying out for the cheerleading squad and other girls ahead of her were having mysterious things happen to them, taking them out of the run-in. Uh, we eventually discovered that Amy's mother had performed a body swap spell with her daughter to try and relive her past glories, as you do. Uh, her mother ended up immortalised as a trophy in the school trophy cabinet where she now has plenty of time to think about her past. So let's see what happens in this episode. If there's going to be any relevant trivia that I find uh, over here during the episode and I'm going to start it in 3, 2, 1. If you read the homework you should know the two ways that ants communicate. Sent. Miss Summers. Touch and text and message. Um, uh, uh, Got plenty of legs. I used to type. Touch mm -hmm. and bo. <laughs> that was so right. Touch and smell. I know you can excel in this class, and so I expect no less. Is that clear? Yeah. And please don't listen to the principal or anyone else's negative opinion about you. Let's make them eat that permanent record. <laughs> okay. Thanks. So he's is a decent teacher. The principal's purely Just going on what... <laughs> the principal's purely going on what's written in the permanent record and what's been given to him paper-wise. He's actually going on what he sees in the classroom. That's good. Did we just get a teacher who was really nice and we liked and then he's killed off? That's a bit unfair. <laughs> I think he was in the last episode as well, if I remember rightly. Because it's basically Game of Thrones. Is anyone fair game? Is Buffy killed in the next episode? No, you'll just give me a cryptic warning about some exciting new catastrophe <laughs> and then disappear into the night. Right? Pretty much. Cold. You can take it. <laughs> That's all you said. Fork She's wearing the jacket. That's all cryptic I said. Fork guy. She did it. I don't know what. I don't know who she is. But she did it. My name is Natalie French, and I will be substituting for Dr. Gregory. I'll only be here as long as I can hold my bra. <laughs> Dr. Gregory, I presume. Oh my god, where's his head? Oh. Uh, he didn't have any enemies on the staff that I'm aware of. He was uh, a civilized man. I liked him. Mm. So did I. Well, we're oh, gonna find out upset. who did this. There was one oblique reference to a, a vampire who displeased the master and cut his hand off in penance. Cut off his hand and replaced wow. it with a fork? I was about to say, that's very lucky or observant of her. Until I got the hell scared out of me. I can't see what it is. Is it a vampire or...? I was trying to stake it, so... Oh, so that's the vampire's replaced his hand with some sort of... Uh, Freddy Krueger. Um, knives by the looks of it. Ah. That's probably not good if a vampire is scared of something and runs off. I would have thought the school would have to be closed for a murder investigation. No, I'm not saying she cranes. Anyone in the we class could have seen her do twist. that. Ouch. Which reminds me, how come Blaine, who worked with her one on one yesterday, isn't here today? So there's a pupil missing, and Xander's next. I don't suppose you'd like to come to my place tonight to work on it there? No, I'm sure he'd, he'd find that come hell. To, uh, your place. <laughs> 7.30? 
I'll see you tonight. That's <laughs> really inappropriate for a teacher to do that. Yet alone a killer monster Ooh, teacher. Yes. Okay. So is she auditioning for the next uh, season of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? You're right, then she'd have to be a shapeshifter or a perception distorter. If I recall correctly, poor old Carlisle, just before he went mad, claimed there was some beast. Fluffy 911. Blaine's mom called the school. He never came home last night. Xander's supposed to be helping her right now. He's got a crush on a giant insect. Okay, don't panic. I'll warn him. But We've I all been there. To the coroner's office for me. Look, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, there's just a certain chemical thing between Miss French and me. I know. I read all about it. It's called um, a pheromone. It, it's a chemical attractant that insects give off. She's not an insect. Okay, she's so woman. she's given it off to an attractant, affecting all the males. An actual woman finds me attractive. Cocktails. A caramba. Martini? So oh, not I'm only sorry, would you like something else? has she invited <laughs> him to her house, <laughs> she's given him alcohol. I'm nervous around you. Have you ever been with a woman before? I think someone's about to go on a certain oh, kind of list. That, uh, well, let me think. Um, yeah, there was uh, several. The kind that, if you're a teacher, I mean, and, uh, you don't get to be a teacher quite anymore. A few times. Wow. So that's a martini, huh? Mm-hmm. And I'm guessing it was dosed. Do you, would you like to touch me with those hands? Your hands are s really serrated. Oh. Oh, well, that martini. <coughs> That's a bit of a mood killer. I really think I have. So, how are we not seeing her in her natural form? That's a big ring. We've I mean, got loads of them. So, where. Oh, there he is. Wait! She starts moving and throbbing, and these eggs come shooting out of her. She mates with you. You seen her teeth? Right while well, she's, you know, right, right in the middle of I saw her do it. I don't want to die like that. So he witnessed it happen to someone else. That's, that's horrible. Seeing some you know, that happen, head removed, knowing that you're next. Ah. Ernest Carlyle spent years transcribing a lost pre-Germanic language. What he discovered, he kept to himself until several teenage boys were murdered on the Cotswolds. Then he went hunting for it. It being. I live at the edge of the Cotswolds. Should I be worried? A type of creature. That, uh, Carlyle recommends cleaving all body parts with a sharp blade. By coincidence, she could always try that. And an insect killer might do the job. <laughs> it's pretty full, so. <laughs> hey, all right, now I can get out of my cage. Into his Into yours. cage. Would you do that? Yeah. Weapon. I retired in 1972. <laughs> How are they going to find her? She's Miss French's records to get into the school. She could be anywhere. Yeah. No. Dear. I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> what you doing? How are they gonna find her? I really can't think of how they can I'm coming. hunt them down. I'm coming. They're best bets to both of them to Russia. The two of them together with that lead pipe as well. They both did it. <laughs> Yeah, you know the general direction she was headed. So she's gonna find the vampire? What, and ask it where she lives? Come on, where is she? Which house is it? Oh my god, he's using the vampire like a, a sniffer hound. Come on. Come on. Oh, they are using her. <laughs> I can help out. I had a big spider in the flat earlier. Can't stand the things. Hey, this me. works. Like what happens to your nervous system when you hear this? Extremely important to file, not simply alphabetic. Giles! If it's the wrong side. <laughs> God! He's hacking at her! It's 
not even like a swift chop the head off. No, it's just hack it. Still wearing his jacket. Oh See, he gives a girl his leather jacket. They love it. I give a girl my anorak. I get slapped. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. So that was episode four, Teacher's Pet, which is a really good title uh, for the episode. It was good, really enjoyed it. Um, it's a very really sad episode though as well, especially uh, the end there. So we've got a teacher who see sees through all of the Buffy's history um, what they what they know of her history, which is basically just the paperwork, and you know, as everyone says, she burnt down the school or the gymnasium, whatever. But he saw something in her, um, and tried to inspire her to do better. And from the way she was looking in their initial conversations, it seemed to you know trigger something in her, which was you know nice. And then obviously then he dies. Um, and she was upset and then at the end we have that nice moment where she you know puts the glasses and she's obviously thinking about him so I think we've all got that one teacher who had an effect on us I I can certainly think of one teacher in particular who um, had a big effect on me and you know helped me where I am you know to come where I am today uh. He's got a lot to answer for, hasn't he? Damn. Um, but no, it's it's just a shame that he was only in it for. Cause I think he was in the last episode as well. So two episodes. The one teacher who thought Buffy could do well and you know made a fight for her as long as she put the work in. He seems like a um, a fair teacher as long as they do the work. Um, and then he killed off. And then we get that guy at the end who. Seems a bit of a putz. But yeah, it was a good episode. I still don't quite understand how everyone saw her as a human. Um, so Xander took, had the drink and was drugged and then saw the hand uh, turn into the mandible, I think they are. Um, but is that because she chose to turn back or did the drug defect stop him from seeing her human form it's probably more likely uh yeah it's it's probably more likely that um she chose to turn in back into her original form because Buffy and the others all saw her as the insect and was fighting her and hacking at her into little pieces um, seemed to be a bit of a little anger issue there with Buffy. Um, yeah, don't get on her bad side. Um, yeah, it was nice. Um, yeah, looking forward to the next one. Uh, so it's been good episode so far. We did have a vampire in this one, but obviously again, wasn't the the lead of the story. Um, but it did help solve the final problem. Um, so that was the vampire that cut off its hand and replaced it with um, Edward Scissorhands uh, like uh, utensils. Um, God, I think how much more vicious vampires would be if they had, if they all had like swords, like um, knives like that on their hands, make fighting them a lot uh, more difficult. Um, but again, say not a vampire story as such. So it's two in a row where there'd be no vampires. Again, it seems a bit odd, but I suppose they did at least introduce one in this episode. So yeah, let's see what happens in the next one. Let me know what you thought in the uh, comments below. It'd be great if you could like and subscribe, and uh, be seeing you.